For the ambitious tycoon, the start of a thriving empire is only ever one No, 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 no. This intro simply will not do. It seems that some of you maybe thought that perhaps communism was the way. Um, yes, the, in a video called Capitalist Industry Ord, what was it, Rise of Industry? You know, like Capitalist Dream Order. I can't remember the name of the bloody video. Good one there, Rumi. Every single bloody comment was about communism. Well, I figured. Why don't we give it a go? Soviet Russia. Okay, so we're going to be doing today the uh, the communism challenge, as I call it. And what is communism but sharing? So what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice little place to put down these headquarters. I think, should we start in Beauville and go all the way around to Wachtula and then bring it back to vote? I, th I think that's perfect. Our house in the middle of Beauville. Wait, why can't we put... Oh, there's a house here. Ah, get out of the way, you're blocking progress. Anyway, so the communism challenge, as I'm calling it, is that we're going to have to take some sort of industry, some sort of product. We're going to have to start in Beauville and go all the way around ev through every single zone. Something will have to come from every single zone all the way back around. We have to sell it in Wachula. Is that okay? Or... Ooh, ooh, okay. Planned production is sto- And I know stovetops are very advanced. We could go down stovetops, sort of uh, make that, or we could bring it all the way back around. What can we sell here? Not much we can sell this important here. Look, to start with, look, it, obviously, as with all communism, we must start by stealing something from someone else. So we're going to have to build a little bit of a normal capitalist industry to get our good communism fair trade around the entire world going on. Also, I've just realized that if I'm building something in every single part of the land, I'm going to need a, how much is it? Oh, a $2.3 million permit per- Oh, look, I'm, I'm sure we can just take the land from them. There'll be no complaints there. Since we are the communists, of course, I decided I'd start with an animal farm. And I have just realized that- Oh, f I unlocked vegetables and not wheat, so already someone in my kingdom is starving. Look, it's perfect. It's all going to plan. We're making vegetables as well when we eventually uh, eventually try and, uh, what's it called? Preserve our chicken meat. All right, perfect. We've named both our places, and uh, now we need to get water them. We need to get grain to this one, and we're currently researching it with the new tech tree, which is where you spend a certain amount of money, and you can research things, yada yada. Let's have a quick look, however, at something that I'm a little bit concerned about. Fucking Player Fortuna is the only place in this entire region that wants to actually eat chicken meat. You are actually fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Does everyone else just hate chickens? What the fuck? Having gotten to work appropriating the resources of this lake, we now need to figure out where we're going to send our vegetables, since our uh, chickens are currently not actually eating. Oh wait, no. They're not even to feed the chickens, they're to make- Oh my god. Chicken meat has just gotten bad PR. You already weren't fucking eating it. You didn't need a shit on its name too. Anyway, looks like no one wants to actually. <laughs> what is it with these people and eating food? I need to sell it to someone. Don't get into the communism spirit that quickly. Jesus. Currently only Wachula and Grantsville want it. Where, where are you? Grantsville and fucking. Where is what? Oh my God. So close. Yet so far away, we have to take this route all the way around to get to them. Beauville now wants winter clothes. <laughs> Are we sure Beauville isn't just Berlin in disguise? So I was wondering where all those dirty capitalists were, and then I looked to the south. Not only over here have we got an immediate- oh, it's gas pump. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look healthy. Oh, the Germans are here. But over here as well, we have the horrible polluting coal mine. See, we're just trying to grow some beautiful crops, and they're trying to build this horrible industry where they, they're, cu they're cutting up- Wait, hang on a second. Are those even producing anything? Because they have to be close- Wait, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I've just figured out a- Oh, shit, I need, hang on, I need a logistical permit. i figured out something sneaky. Discord, shut up. Here we go. Are uh, you ready for this? So, lumberjack working thingamajigs. They need trees nearby. <laughs> what now, capitalist scum? Yes, 
Yes. Uh, seriously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of these roads. I don't really need them. Actually, can I just get rid of their roads? No, damn it. I can't get rid of their roads. <laughs> but I can fuck up their capitalist scum. Can I park a train on their road? Hmm, that is, that is for later experimentation, all right? Later. Jesus fucking Christ! The build permit in player is eight million. Is it, this, is it the same everywhere now, or is it just like constantly go up? What? What's the price in here? Seven million. All right, this is a little bit ridiculous. You're kind of shit. I don't know why I'd ever build there. <clears throat> oh no. Looks like we're about to go bankrupt. Maybe we should take some money from the rich people. Huzzah. And just like that, we've made a $4.9 million profit. Perfect. <clears throat> Yeah, if I fail on this loan, I lose the game, I believe. Whoopsies. Let's keep adding some fish, because I'm making viscamen. Oh, no. <gasps> what am I doing? I haven't researched the potato yet. No, 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 no. This just, this can't be. This can't be. We can't, no. Stop everything. Stop all production. We must research the potato. So thanks to what I'm going to refer to as maybe not having any money at all, I've decided to invest in some oil as well, so we're now going to start producing oil in an attempt to sort of make up for our budget being the worst fucking thing in the world. I'm just expanding to everything, because it turns out that buying three logistical permits at the start of the game... Sorry, three or... No, I bought a full permit as well, that was the two million one. It's just not the cleverest idea, and even a public farm hasn't really saved me here. <laughs> But seriously, I am just desperately investing in different industries right now in an attempt to try and make enough money to avoid a second fucking uh, bankruptcy. Which is rapidly approaching, by the by. I thought the state owning all of this would fix it. It hasn't fixed anything. Christ, you know times have gotten desperate when I'm investing in fucking sand to try and save my country. Oh god, yes guys, go to the beaches and scoop it up with your hands. It's practically yellow gold. Vodka. What am I doing? I'm trying to make fucking berry grape juice and I can make vodka. Vodka. I think I know, I think I know what we need to build in this game. We need to make like a round the world trip that makes vodka. So we need somewhere to start with sugar, right? You know, somewhere's got to produce the barrels, someone's got to produce the yeast, and then we got to, uh, you know, get around, someone produces the vodka, and then we ship it all the way back around to Boville. Perfect. So what, well, we start in like, something comes from the planning office, we start in Pueblo, pubic hair, and then we move on to Grantsville, or maybe maybe we like meet up at Coney Island, something comes from Grantsville, meets at Coney Island, and that ships down to Totowa, up to player, round to Wachula where it finishes, it turns into vodka, and then back to Beauville for the money. I mean, uh, for the people. For the people, yes, the people. No! <laughs> Sand has just gotten bad PR. I was already- it's already hard enough to try and fucking sell sand. Do you really have to shit on how, like, like the quality too? What, is this not good sand? Is this bad quality s Do you not like my sand? It's so hard to get- Did that truck just drive into- Oh my god. I think the bad PR might come from the fact that we're suffering so- Oh no, he's fine. I thought we are just suffocating people to produce sand. I mean, I'd agree. I'd fucking- I wouldn't buy any sand that had suffocated Soviets in it. What the fuck? So, look, I, I may have slightly... Look, I may have reloaded. It's not like communism failed or anything. No, 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 no. But I may have just had to have gone back in time to make sure that it actually worked. The fish in the river disappeared. I, I don't quite know why, but the fish now are over here. So, well, a singular fish is. Terry the fish has moved downriver. Where the fuck did all of the fish go? Okay. Okay, hang on a second. Anyone eating this fish should be very, very fucking concerned. Pretty sure the Shadow Realm is where these fish have come from. Da, comrade. Russia's roads have been improved. No longer shall we be mired in the mud, we now have urban roads. Holy shit, look at that fucking speed increase. Alright, let's time to go upgrade everything because, uh, oh god, my, uh, my muddy roads are slowing down my industry. And my mechanized. Once again, I'm expanding into yet another industry, this time coal, just in order to make a little bit more of a profit. It does seem like you need quite the industrial place before communism can even be tried. It's quite impressive, the things that I'm discovering on my, uh, my little run here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I don't grow potatoes. At least, mostly. But why do these all look like tiny potato bushes? This looks like someone's just been like, how do you grow potatoes? Oh, well, you take them off a bush like berries. Oh, of course. The famous Latvian <laughs> potato bush. Of course. 
Of course, the Latvian potato bush. How could I forget? Holy shit, would you look at that? Even with my fucking loans still on, I can't get rid of them just yet. There's still how many more months? 26 until we get rid of the biggest one. I made a profit. I finally did. I finally made some money. I did have to stop my R&D because I was going to go broke, but I still made some money. Okay, here's an interesting, interesting thing I've just done. I've paid off my bankruptcy bill, which means I've now got a lesser loan repayment every month. I've also gotten two million left over with which to build a glasswork smelter, which I've just researched. Which, I mean, look, if we're gonna put, what, sand, oh, yellow gold and childcare together, what does that make? It makes a yellow shower of money. Alright, perfect, of mun. Of mum, perfect. And that is gonna go on to Bovil. Uh, there we go, so we put some sand into here now instead. We put some of the coal in as well. And hopefully, now with my refinancing and my new production, I should make even more of a profit every month. And I say more of a profit, I was making net $1,000 last month. That's not exactly what you call a fucking profit. Still, hopefully, we should be able to pump out some glass, which should pay us a whole bunch more than uh, coal and sand on their own. Yeah, see, coal and sand is about 5500 when sold separately, but a tier one product is $30,000! I realize why I'm not making money right now. Holy fuck, the difference in like making a tier one product. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? In the first day it's been open, we've already made 139,000 profit as opposed to last month. Why was it glass? Glass is the capitalist secret. Glass was all we ever needed. Also, fun fact I discovered about this game, I thought that R&D investment means, oh, you know what, you know, if you spend more money, you get the thing faster. No. Actually, you still spend the same amount of money, just basically how much you want to spend that month. So if I spend 500k, this will be done in like 20 days. I just spend more money at once, which is good, because I want to get to this nice and quick. So we're just going to say spend a million. There we go. Still spend the same amount. There you go. 40,000. And we're going to spend 350 on this, and then we unlock both of them. Bish bash bosh done. Oh boy, Yellow Shower of Mum has sped up production. Oh, the motherland is going to be fucking rolling in it. The, the yellow shower, that is. It's time to make a few little investments, because in this game, truck depots can actually send out, uh, it's called trade trucks, which are faster and carry more than uh, destination trucks, which are these little bastards wherever they're running around. Hang on, these boys? Yeah, these little shit trucks don't carry as much. They only carry one versus the three that those bigger trucks can carry. And I think they move faster as well, or you can upgrade them to move faster. So what I can do is I can get all my resources put together here, move them to here, and then move them to here as well, and I'll make more money. It'll be more efficient. Of course, I just have to offset the uh, the upkeep of this place, which I don't actually know what this... Maybe it's just the trucks that it sends out. Maybe that's the only upkeep. Hmm. So I've decided to set up a risky venture. Chicken run is what I call it. So a truck is going to take the chicken and the grain from Berlin, which is obviously all stockpiled up right now. Actually, how many trucks have we got on this run? We've got uh, we've got five. Okay, so hopefully we'll see some um, trucks coming from here soon enough. The trucks take it down, all the way down to Publico, where they're going to pick up... Uh, they can't actually pick up more grain, which is a problem. I need to reconsider how, my, how I'm doing with the grain. But, oh, shit. Um, There goes my heroes. Watch them as they truck. And they're going to take that all the way down to Lone Town, where Lone Town is going to sell the chicken at the state, it's going to sell the gas and the bloody oil, and overall, we'll be looking happy as chappies. Uh, now, I'm saying that I need to stop this, and I need to reconsider having grain be sent here. The problem is the grain is already overflowing right here. There's no more need for grain, I don't believe. You know what? Fuck it. For now, just stock up on the grain. Publico doesn't need it. Publico, just hold on to it. You don't really need it, but you'll be fine. Okay, here's hoping this makes us a little bit more of a profit. So you see, five grand from the chicken, not too bad. We're finally making a profit off of that stuff that's been sitting around for a while. Over here, we're going to start making some money off of the oil. Oh my god, there goes some money. We're looking good. We're looking for... Oh shit, they fucking wholesale sold yeast here. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. We're actually making a bit of money. Oh my god, we made a lot of money from this route. This was an amazing choice. This was such a... I, I may have needed to take out another loan, yes, and why is my thing not called communism anymore? Look, it's... It may have needed a loan, but overall, amazing choice.
We did good, kid. And we also actually decreased our loan payment as well, so we're fucking awesome. Oh god, it's been a little while. So, I had to stop uh, recording because I had to stream, and then I started, you know, I played a little bit while I was editing, and then I woke up this morning and I, you know, so I slept in and I did some things, I cooked, and then I played some more, and I may have accidentally just made a fuckload of money while I was being really distracted. We have a lot of costs now, but, um... I've set up a bit of an industry. We've now got uh, diddling diodes and on a watch list producing diodes for this ironmongery that's being created here. Now there's a fucking homes goods. Oh, look. There's a lot of stuff that we can make. We can also make, uh... Oh, how much are, how much are light bulbs? Oh! <gasps> that's a lot of money! Hold on a second. Wait, are diodes just cheaper... Easier to produce light bulbs? I, I don't have them unlocked yet, but I think they're, like, the same thing. They take a little bit more, but they produce a lot more money. Diodes are worth like a hundred thousand, I think, and uh, those are worth three hundred. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to research um, these. I've also got a bunch of stuff I'm researching. Just give me a moment, please. Uh, light bulbs, good. Right, back to uh, distribution. Excellent. Right. I've been doing a lot of research because it's finally time to build our mega industry. It's finally time, after we've gotten this beautiful capitalist society set up, now, now we can implement communism. Because again, it's still fucking expensive to buy up around here. Like, I bought in Coney Island, but Grantsville is still, what, five million? I'm still I'm actually not able to afford it right now. Thankfully, I'm making around about a million a Oh, I was making a million a month, and then I started uh, buying things. R&D, that's right. That's where all my money is uh, currently disappearing. Once this gets done, however, let's just fucking speed her up. We'll build some uh, light bulbs, ship them off as well, and then we'll be good to start in our vodka run. Now, not only do I want to transfer, like, all the bits around, I want to transfer it in different forms as well, so I want to get some boats going on. I'm thinking, like, boats probably from on the river down here, and they boat down to, like, maybe Playa, where we... Maybe, we'll see what we have to get. We'll see, like, what parts have to move where, because that'll be the, uh, the important little thought that I'll be having. Yeah, I think, I think Playa will be nice. We can, like, boat down this river. Should be good fun. God, it is so hard to focus on actually, like, doing my goal and not just making more industry. I've just set up another bulb factory with even more production and oh, I want to build more things. This game is so fucking addictive. Right. I need to stop. I've already just got five fucking million. All right, fuck it. Communism, we all paid off all our loans. Good. Let's get to work. So we're going to need to build vodka. Vodka is our final example of, in of ingredients. So... It's gonna have to be... Oh, I need a full, bu full build permit. Alright, I remember why I was getting all my money. I need 8 million to build here. Right, I just took a small loan of 15 million dollars, and I'm gonna solve that problem real quick. Huzzah! Okay, here we go. So, we're gonna need to go down brewery and distillery. Alright, it's gonna be by the lake. It's gonna be beautiful. Look at this. Lovely little... Uh, just... Can we wanna... Can we wanna... I want it to be, like, right here, so let's terraform a little bit here. So we're just gonna go flatten. Oh, no! Oh, and then there we go. Perfect. Right. So, brewery and distillery. Let's see. This is going to be the vodka. Perfect. Uh, it's making yeast. Not what we need. So we're going to need something to make yeast, which means berries and sugar. But vodka. Vodka. Needs potatoes, needs yeast, needs barrels. Right. So what I'm thinking... Radio. So barrels needs wood. So it needs planks, needs lumber. Okay. Yeast needs berries and sugar. All right. Those are pretty simple. They just need water. Potatoes, pretty simple. So potatoes are going to probably come from Player Fortuna, right? So we're going to want to go like... Okay, here we go, here we go. Here's the plan. My dog's fucking woofing in the background, whatever. The plan is we make the yeast up the north, right? So that can go, that can be like, it's like a three-parter process. So hang on, let's go... So we go... Uh, da, 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 yeast, okay. So the berries are made in Berlin, right? Uh, the sugar is farmed in the planning office where no one can see what we're doing to the people who work there And it comes together to make yeast in Zia Publio, right? And then we get it on a boat. We sail it down the river To Wachula, right? So there we go. That's straight straight to the uh, facility. Okay, cool Then we have Totowa is where we're going to No way, okay, so Coney Island across the river in this little island area here. We're gonna uh Oh, no, okay, here's how we do it, here's how we do it. Okay, so I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need like, a, a bridge. But we're gonna have... Uh, barrels being made down here. Yeah, so barrels being made there. Fuck, means we need something for Grantsville. But okay, so barrels... So we go chop chop the wood here. Actually, no, we could, we could do, like, a whole train line. Okay, so chop the wood in Grantsville, get it on a train, 
train it across to Coney Island, turn it into planks, train that across to Totoa, turn it into barrels, train that all the way up to Wachula, put the vodka in barrels. Got it. Right. And the last one is just going to be Playa, uh, Playa Fortuna. We're going to put potatoes out of crop farms, going to move it up by truck to the brewery. That means that we should have fulfilled every single type of logistics there is. We'll have trucks, we'll have trains, we'll have boats, and then, oh, oh, you know how we're getting it home. Let's get to work on designing this. One of my favorite things to do in this game is just to drag a road or a train track all the way across the map and see what it tries to make. In this case, let's just do that. Then down to here. Oh, hang on. Oh, messed that one up. Excuse me. Hold on. Much better. All right, so it goes through the town, that's gonna kill so many people across the bridge here, down here, around here, kill some people along the road, back along here, over here, around the corner, St oh my god, a straight line through this, but okay, it's a tunnel for some reason, across a bridge here, across a bridge here, could have just crossed a bridge here and never built the tunnel in the first place, and then back home. Alright, I think our train route might be done. Okay, barreling, sorry, rolling barrels is now created. It's a place where we pick up wood from Canada. Here we go. The first train should be leaving. Uh-oh, got a pathing alert. Can't reach Canada. Why not? I figured it out. Trains have to come from the red and go into the green. Okay, means I can actually get rid of this ridiculous line. But it also means I need to redesign all of my train stations. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, I fucking love that you can spin around in this. Looks so... Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, nope, nope, nope. Looks so fucking cool. Okay, the booze cruise is away. We've got some booze boats sailing downriver to uh, STD dock where there's a yeast infection. We're going to turn that into yeast. The yeast will be sent back to the STD dock where it sends over to Vegemite Landing and into Wodka. The train line is now working, I believe, if we can look... Like, it's going to take some time to sort of speed up because obviously the trains have got to bring barrels to here. But I believe... These are the first of the barrels right here. Hang on, can I click on that? No, there's actually there's, there's nothing on these, nothing on them. But okay, they are building barrels at least. So we have got boats coming in, barrels being built. You're overflowing. Wait, no, what are you? Oh, oh hang on, this is overflowing. Okay, cool. So already we're starting, like we're backing up, but the system is starting to move. Logistics alert. It doesn't matter that destination storages are full. That's fine. Uh, okay, the yeast infection is starting to work. We can obviously increase the uh, production of all these places, but that'll come later, right? I just want it to work. There is one thing left, and that is potatoes. Let's finish it up, shall we? Okay, since the theme of this whole run has been pointless inefficiency, this is perfect. Slurp provides water to potatoes at Bobbitz's where they grow a bunch of potatoes. They don't actually ship the potatoes out, however. Instead, I use a warehouse. Warehouses just suck in all the items around them that you tell them to take, and then they can ship them elsewhere. So Irish thieves take the potatoes, give them to British thieves, who ship them all the way up north to the Russian government. And would you look at that? The first vodka is being created. It's beautiful. But we haven't got anywhere to put it just yet. Look at the line of returning trains going across the map. God, this is beautiful. Here we go. It's finally done. How much have we got stocked up so far? Four? Still not enough. That won't get shipped off just yet. But the final countdown from high as a kite all the way over to communism, uh, communism's end. They ship it out over to the liquor store. And we finally sell our vodka. A few things. For one, I love the fact that vodka isn't even a tier 3 resource. It's not one of the most complex things you can make in this game. It's actually a tier 2. A much more simple one. You can see a tier 2, not a tier 3, which are the most complex. Secondly, it's not even Bovil or rather Berlin that's even getting the vodka that we ordered in the first place. After all this fucking work and all this communism, all this organization, all of this co uh, collaboration, it's fucking Zia Publico that get it. I mean, I feel like that's kind of okay because the public get it, but I also feel like it's someone else profiting off of communism's, uh, well, sacrifices, let's be honest. There is literally no way this line makes money. The only way it's going to be making money is because of my fucking production over here. Like, there is no way that this... The amount of, like, wasteful trains and fucking... I'm using zeppelins to transfer a little bit of vodka. I mean, come on. But I think once we see that final zeppelin go, we, are, we, we can show that finally... Despite clearly losing money now, communism has succeeded. Oh god. There goes my hero. So I did have to increase the production on this end and around the yeast and uh, on the barrels and planks as well, just because the raw resources were backing it up like mad. But 
There goes my hero. Watch him as he flies. This is the power of communism, my friends. This is when all this fucking work gets us. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. It might even be two parts, who knows. Oh my god, look at all of the... What? What? <sighs> I feel like that sums up this entire run. We, uh... We could have done it the easy way. Instead, we dug a tunnel through a fucking mountain to go around it. I'll see you next time.